edition of Deep Cave Plays. That's right, we're back in the basement, and we're going to try live streaming. It's the middle of the day, which means not everyone is using the internet, so we have a good shot at actually not having any uh, problems with the camera side, because usually whenever we stream from the basement, we have issues. And I don't blame our internet provider. I, I, I just blame the other people using the internet. But since it's the middle of the day, and everyone else is at work, here we go. So... This is, for those of you following along on our YouTube channel, the year of the NES for the Deep Cave podcast. We recently had our 150th episode, and I decided this year, for whatever reason, because the NES is technically turning 40 when you factor in the Famicom, that uh, we're going to look at some of the lesser-known Nintendo Entertainment System games, Famicom games, and today... It's Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy, which came out in 1990. It was kind of associated with the movie starring Warren Beatty, Madonna, and uh, Al Pacino. But um, movie's better. Let's just say that. So I'm going to go ahead and switch us over to our gameplay uh, window. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Yes, I am running this on an emulator, but you can, in fact, get a hold of a copy of this game for pretty reasonable because, well, it's it's Dick Tracy on the NES. All right. Man, look at those graphics. You got nothing on me, Tra I haven't seen the movie. So Madonna plays a character called Breathless Mahoney, who is always hitting on Dick Tracy, like all the time. And this guy, for whatever reason, I kept imagining him to have the voice of Chief O'Hara from the 60s Batman show. Okay, so... Dick Tracy, when I was a kid, Dick Tracy was kind of a confusing uh, game for me, because... You know, I, um, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I thought it was just a side-scrolling action game, but it was actually kind of an investigative thing. Think L.A. Noir. So, uh, let's see. I guess we're just going to go on and, uh, and hit the streets. Now, let's see what we've got for our notepad. Fate $20 bill used near Steve the Tramps. Flophouse. So, uh, yeah. Let's get started. Where is Steve the Tramp's flop house? Oh. Steve the Tramp. Fifth and B. Okay. Now, the way this game works, however, is that you need to find evidence so you can put these guys behind bars. You can't just, like, run up and fight them and call it a day. No, you've got to, uh... You gotta be careful about this one. So, let's get started. Um... If I remember how to, like... Okay. Alright, so... Steve the Tramp's Flophouse. Flophouse. Let's hit the street. Alright. Definitely feels like old uh, GTA. Where am I? I don't even remember. Okay, that's how you get out of the van. That's how you shoot. I don't know where my map is. Okay, a second and C. All right. That should be third, fourth, fifth, and C. And there's a police station. Fifth and G. Wasn't he at fifth and J? Ah, let's get out and look at fifth and G. Okay, so it's a library. Yeah, take that, buddy. Okay, so like in these levels at the standard beat em you know what this game reminds me of? Who Frame Roger Rabbit? That's what this game reminds me of as far as you know, you're walking along. Oh. 
Do I have a gun? Yes. Okay, sweet. You know, you have to, like, find evidence to crime, stuff like that. There's guys to beat up, and if there's someone to beat up, then that means you're going to find evidence, right? That's how it works. There's bad guys in the library. What's bad guys doing in the library? Why are you shooting me? At least you can tell which one Dick Tracy is. Yep, just walking to the right. Long stage. Walking to the right. Oh, who's this guy? Okay, so punch him. Let's interrogate him. He had nothing to do with this flat foot. And then, of course, you know, you get berated by the cops for bringing in someone who had nothing to do with this. Well, I'm sorry. The flop house, right? What? And by the way, there's those freaking snipers on rooftops you gotta avoid. You will take a shot from them. F. G. Ah, jeez. I am about to die. J. Alright. So, fifth and J. We're on the right track. That's first and J. Get out. I, I saw that sniper, but... Okay. There we go. I have no health, but it's fine, right? Fourth. Fifth. Alright. Fifth and J. There we go. I have no health, but this should be fine. Alright. Nightclub. I'm just gonna stay here and just kind of punch guys in the... in the mommy-daddy button. Really wish I could have like refilled health when no okay. Yep. And that's it. Game over. Alright, well, let's try that one again. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's just remind ourselves fifth and G fifth and B. Why did I get fifth and J? Fifth and B. Consarn it. I see. Okay. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth and B. There's some freaking snipers. Took two stars off my health. Just like that. Fifth and B flop house. Here we go. Alright. There's a freaking Bugs Bunny cartoon boxing glove up there. That's fun. Super punch. All right. Yep, there he goes. I thought I could go through that door. Apparently not. Okay. For whatever reason, my bullets won't go through whatever that was. I don't know if that was a safe. You're not supposed to shoot an unarmed guy. Hey, there's a health pickup. Are you serious? Well, that kind of wasted... Yeah, and to use a health pickup, you have to, like, pull up first aid with the select button, then hold the select button and press the item button, because that's... that makes sense. Oh, jeez. I'm pretty sure this this game was a mistake. It was a mistake for me to play it. Come on. Go down. 
Alright, there's who we want to interrogate. Punch him in the face. Ninth and F Pier. You're hot on their trail. Nice job, Tracy. Oh, he, he couldn't say dick. It's a kid's game. Alright. Why didn't he write that down? Why didn't he write that down? Ninth and F Pier. So you, you almost need to, like, have your own notepad alongside you. Okay. First. Second. Third. Uh, fourth. I know there's snipers nearby. Yeah, I see you. Where are you? There you are. Ninth and F, right? I'm assuming. Ninth and F. Should probably switch back so I can see uh, if there's any questions or comments, because I was... Nope, okay. Okay, here's the pier. Be real freaking cautious, because again, uh, there are snipers and you don't see them until it's too late. Ninth and C. D. Aha, yeah. I guess they wanted to, like, simulate hiding behind your car when you're getting shot at, but it just makes it really hard to make any kind of forward progress. Ninth and F. Here we go. All right, the jig is up. Oh, boy. These controls are slipperier than a greased-up cat, so I have no idea how this is going to go. Probably poorly. We'll see if we can get any further. I didn't expect to hit that guy. A long, a long, a long jump. All right. Hey. Yeah, look at me do. Oh boy, that guy is just going nuts. Whew. Haha. <laughs> Got a super punch. Come here, you. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. I thought I was going to interrogate him, not send him plummeting to his death. There's a clue there, and there's a guy right there. No, Dick, Dick, what are you doing? Footprints in puddle of spilled green ink. Good job, chum. Did I just die? Oh, wait, no, there goes someone. Come here. Come here. Fourth and D warehouse. All right. Fourth and D. Please tell me you wrote that down. You did not. You wrote down the footprints. You didn't write it down. And I've only got one star heart left, whatever, so I'm probably going to die really soon. This game is very hard. It's NES hard. Third, fourth, and B. Where are the snipers? I know you're close. I can feel it. Fourth and C. All right. Fourth and D warehouse. Super punch. Wasted one. Punch that guy in the gut, watch him spin around. Oh no, that guy's got a gun. Should 
shot him in the leg. He's dead now. I'm pretty sure if I shoot the guys that are unarmed, it, like, costs me health, so I'm not even going to try it. Because I played this game a long time ago when I was a kid. And I don't want to risk... Now that I'm close to solving this case, and that guy is going to kill me, I just know it. Alright. Whew! I'm sorry, I know this is like the least interesting gameplay ever, but I have to take it slow if I want to live. These don't even look like functional platforms. They just look... I know it's drawn on. It's all drawn on, but they don't look real. But they don't look tangible, right? Oh, there's a clue. No! Come here. Come here. Oh, man. I gotta go all the way up there somehow. Nope. Not interested in you. How do I get to the clue? First an H print shop. Alright. Now can I survive long enough? How is that not connecting with you? Are you serious? What? What? He, he didn't even touch me! Okay. So that's what I'm gonna be getting myself into this month. I understand. That's dumb. So stick around. <laughs> uh, the first full week of April, we are going to have... Can we just get off that screen, please? Can we just... Yeah, let's just, let's just bet, get back here. All right, first full week of April. First full week of April will be our uh, review of Dick Tracy on the NES. And boy, I do not feel good about this one. So please check us out at geekcavepodcast.com. Uh, feel free to find uh, all of our videos up on YouTube. And wish me luck, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it, based on how the past 18 minutes have gone. I'll see you guys later. Remember to check all of our stuff out, our social media links, join our Discord, uh, find our podcasts and more at geekcavepodcast.com. And remember, everyone's a geek for something. Except for, I don't know, what was that guy's name? Shoulders? Shoulders?